Hello, everyone. Uh, I have been correcting your assignments, dialogue writing, and also paragraph writing. Believe me, there are so many mistakes, grammatical mistakes. And this is your last chance to, you know, read in order to prepare yourself. If you prepare yourself for the, you know, the higher education, for example, we're going for master's, you're going for a doctorate degrees, you're going to industry for training, you're going to, you're going for the professional world. If you lack the communication skill, if you lack the base on which the communication skill is built upon, that is if the grammar, you are not going to be a part of the successful team. And I think it is my moral duty to teach you English grammar. Uh, though you have some basic knowledge, but I think still I'm going to revise all the English grammar lessons with you. So I'll be uploading one or two lectures per week on this YouTube channel. Do not worry, this is absolutely free. Just have your patience and always remember, practice never makes a man perfect. Practice always improve your skill. So try to be a better person tomorrow than today. Better person, the skill should be developing, you know. It should be a continuous process of development. So let us see what do we have in store. Uh, of course, we'll start this English grammar lessons, which will con consist of the parts of speech, uh, followed by tenses, articles, and the end you are going to, uh, you know, learn. Well, I'm going to make you understand the psychology, uh, the you know, the process, how to increase your vocabulary. There are some scientific methods. So let us see what do we have in store. Okay. The next is, of course, the parts of speech. Obviously, the eight parts of speech, noun, pronoun, and all those things. That's module one. So let's see. The module two, uh, module 1.1 1 .1 is noun. Obviously, you're going to learn about the types of nouns. Apart from that, you're going to learn about the, you know, uh, gender, uh, masculine gender, feminine gender, neuter gender, common gender. And obviously, uh, the numbers, singular number, plural numbers, and some rules, how to convert, you know, how to change uh, with the help of prefix and suffix. Then we'll have uh, adjectives. Adjectives are very important. You know, it qualifies the nouns. It gives you much more information about the noun. Uh, so the types of adjectives and also, you know, the degree of comparison, that is a positive degree, comparative degree, the superlative degree, the good, the better, the best, good, better, and the best, obviously. And then we have verb. Verb is the most important thing. Um, in grammar, uh, if you are good enough with verbs and tenses, you're going to kill it, dude. Do not worry about anything else. Try to be very attentive while I'll be teaching about verb and tenses. That's, that's very important. Okay. Uh, after that, we have pronoun, the replacement of noun, person, pronoun. We'll have, be having demonstrative pronoun. For example, that, that is a pronoun. We'll have adverb which uh, modifies, uh, you know, the verb, which give extra information uh, about verb, not extra information, modifies the verb, another adverb. Uh, we have this global positioning system of grammar, that is a preposition across the table, uh, below the, you know, chair, uh, beneath the soil, something like that. Then we have something for joining the sentences known as conjunction. It saves time. This is very economical. I'll say conjunction is the most economical parts of speech. Obviously, we have interjection. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. That is if the, you know, the interjection is something basically uh, loss of excitement, loud emotion, basically. It's hooray, we have won the match. Alas, uh, we'll have sentences, the types of sentences, exclamatory sentences, uh, you know, assertive sentences, interrogative sentences. This will help you to frame questions, to give an answers, having conversation. Now, articles are very important. Uh, in articles, you're going to learn about the types of, you know, uh, the sounds, the vowel sound. So in school, you have learned about vowels, you have learned about consonants. Now we're going to learn about the vowel sound, the consonant sound, and why you are supposed to uh, use insert and the or the uh, in front of superlative degrees, holy books, rivers, and also, uh, I guess the tenses I've already told you, the three tenses, uh, past, present, and future, and what are the 
each are having three or four types. For example, simple tense, you're having continuous tense, you have perfect continuous, you have perfect tense. Let's see, will be, uh, this is going to be very interesting tenses. Uh, the voices, you know, uh, how your active voice, the passive voice, how you can remove two, how you can change the voice. That is, this is going to be a role play, not a theoretical lecture. And last but not the least, this is my favorite part where you are going to uh, add words. You know, you're going to have a word bank that is a vocab, vocabulary with the use of synonyms, with the use of antonyms, with the use of homophones, uh, with, the, uh, with the help of, you know, the root word morphemes. For example, I'll give you a very easy example. The root word is exam. You use prefix pre, you use suffix examination, examiner, examination, examined, you know, pre-examination, post-examination. With the help of a root word, you can develop such a, a big vocabulary. And your knowledge of language is basically the types of words you're going to use in the correct situation, in the correct context, because language is contextual. So that's it. I hope you're going to have fun. Obviously, if this experiment, if this uh, video lectures are success, successful, uh, I'll, I'm going to teach you, you know, uh, the spoken English because uh, English is a uh, skill-based uh, subject where you, you need to develop the four skills of language. That is a reading skill, writing skill for reading and writing skill. You, I'll, I'll give you the reading list of books also for reading and writing skill. You need to focus on grammar. If you're good with grammar, you will have the confidence to read books, to read classic books, and also to write the answers, to write, frame the question, to write reports, to write notice, agenda, letters, the answers for the poems, answer for the, you know, stories. And last but not the least, if you're good enough with this thing, we'll focus on listening skill and uh, speaking skills, that's the last two skills. And this is going to help you if you are taking an examination, for example, TOEFL, test of English as foreign language, or you're going to take an English for IELTS, English language exam, where the four skills are, uh, you are go we are going to be evaluated on you know, the performance of listening skill, writing skill, and all those stuff. So thank you. Thank you all. I'll be going to upload a lecture by tomorrow evening. So thank you. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.